Hands up. Come on, Smith. Where's the bundle? How about it, Finch? How about what? Here's a warrant. Where's the bundle? What bundle? We're just having a little meeting. There's nothing here you want. Nothing at all. jury this afternoon. Mike, I took your words. You figured these guys were the payroll robbery, and I agreed with that. Six, you tell, waiting for the split. You move in for the bust, and there's no bundle. I'm telling you, it's going to be hard for me to get an indictment, much less a conviction. We'll find it. Famous last words. These are the guys. I know it, you know it. I said we'd find the money. The money and the guys together. That's what we need. One without the other, and it's not a case. Do I persuade you? Forcefully, Sam. Forcefully. All right, where is it? Well, it's not in the apartment. Unless it turned invisible. We did everything but peel the paper off the walls. Out the window, Chief. They threw it out the window. $150,000. Suppose it just floated away? Gilman and Rosen checked the courtyard. Nothing. All right, what are the possibilities? One, if they had someone prying onto the window, then the cash is still in the building. Because no one got past those stakeouts carrying it. Second possibility. Finch doesn't know where the money is either. That one I like. If it's true, I like it even more. They dumped it out the window, and it's driving them nuts because somebody grabbed it. Now, they're going to be looking for it. Only we don't let them. We put a tail on them, an obvious tail. It works two ways. If they know where the bundle is, they have to shake us before they can get to it. We're buying time to get there first. This is where the split took place. Here are the windows. The money went out and landed down here. It's a small yard. We had a man here to see to it that nobody got out of that way. These two walls here are straight brick. The others have ten windows each. How many apartments? Well, it breaks down into six. Well, these two apartments would have to come across to the stairway, down to the basement, into the yard, then back up again. Right, which leaves them out. The money was through the window and picked up all within a minute. These others up here, they just wouldn't have had time. Now, these two ground floor apartments, each next to the stairway, for them it'd be comparatively simple. Yeah, these two. It's one of these, Jeff. One of these is our boy. Out for a breath of air, Mr. Finch? When are you guys gonna stop wasting your time? I've been clean for years, you know that. Excuse me? Somebody could be robbing this city blind, all the men you got watching me and my friends. Everywhere we go, we got escorts. Lay off, will you? I think you're a little confused, Mr. Finch. This is a high crime area. We're doubling our patrols. There's nothing to steal around here. The word is out that you've come into a big fortune. I think you might need a little protection. Hey, do me a favor. Go away. What's the matter? Oh, you never met my wife, did you? This is Detective... What's your name? Corso. Corso. It's my wife, Mrs. Finch. How do you do? 
How do you do? Hon, I have some shopping to do, but I'll be back real soon. Sure. Have a good time. Nice to have met you. Nice to meet you. You wouldn't follow another man's wife, would you? Taxi! Oh. I think I'll go see my dentist. Hey, you need an upper plate or something? Come along. Artie? Yeah, it's me. Nobody here can move. They're all being watched. Now, you're the only one they don't know. Yeah, I know you know what happened, but the money's still in there. Someone in that house has it. They saw a man pick up the bag. Someone from the ground floor. after you go downtown. Well, what do you mean? The police, they want you. The police? Well, I, I didn't do anything. Oh, well, what do they want? Take it easy. It's only the hack bureau. They called from the 27th precinct. Well, I didn't pick up any tickets. It, it, it must, must be a mistake. It's the application to renew your license. There's something wrong with it. Well, I'll go down tomorrow. If you want to drive, you go down now. Well, what's wrong with the application? How would I know? Excuse me, sir. Are you the one I'm supposed to see? Just give me another minute, please. Sit down. Well, I'm, I'm sorry about the application. I uh, thought I'd fill it in right. Yesterday morning. Let's talk about yesterday morning. I was working. According to your trip card, you left the garage at 12 noon. So you weren't at work yesterday. You were in your apartment. According to your superintendent, you were taking your morning exercise in the backyard. Now, isn't that exactly what you were doing? I'm not a criminal, Lieutenant. No one said you were. I, I just want you to know. You come highly recommended. I want you to know that, Mr. Fivish. Maybe we should forget all that psychology, Lieutenant. Uh, was there something you wanted to ask me? Someone threw a bundle out of a window. A very expensive bundle. A $150,000 bundle. Well, Mr. Fivish? 22 years. That's, that's how long for me. 22 years, cab driver. You know, I, I listen to the radio. Fly here, fly there. Fancy millionaire stiffs me out of a tip, and the guy puts a knife in your neck, and he takes it all. Then yesterday morning, 
suddenly like from heaven. Uh, a gift. I, I, I opened it in my apartment. I suppose I knew all the time that I, I wasn't going to have it. I mean, after 22 years, who's... It's still around, isn't it? I hid it. Where? I said you were lucky, Mr. Freibish. Now I'll tell you why. Remember last month, the big payroll robbery? It was in all the papers. The take was $150,000. Your 150000 The thieves are looking for it now, looking for it hard. If they should get to you first... It's at the bus station, in a locker. Well, go ahead, take it. Lieutenant, what did we leave out? What I want you to consider is keeping the money. Excuse me? You, you said to keep the money? Well, just for a while, Mr. Fradish. Just until the thieves take it away from you. <laughs> Come on. I think you need a cup of coffee. Listen, I want some action. I want that guy by tonight and the money with him. I don't care how you do it. Just do it. You'll be safe. I give you my word. You'll be watched every second. I wouldn't blame you for turning us down, but I hope you won't. What do you say? Maybe, uh, maybe I'll try it for a day or two. But, Lieutenant, you better be smarter than these crooks. If you're not, I'm going to have a lot of trouble. You sure this is going to work? Anybody walks in here, trips the catch on this door. This line sets the alarm off next door. Through my telephone. That's right. We're using it to conduct the alarm. Don't worry. It works. An electronics man is hooking it up down below. You'll be here uh, next door. 24 hours a day. Never sleep. I must have been crazy getting talked into this. The lieutenant said if anybody even scares you, I'd better start looking for another job. We'll put the money in here. <clears throat> it's one of the first places a burglar would look. $500. The rest is still in the locker. Okay. We're all set. I'd better get next door. I don't blame you. That's a pretty wife you've got. That's not a wife. It's a cop. She's a cop? A policewoman. Delivery truck just parked. Driver's coming in. He's carrying a package. Wait a minute, Jeff. I don't read you very clearly. Right. I'll read you now. Go ahead. All right. We're standing by. Freibish took a fare to Grand Central. They're following so closely, they did everything but collect the tip. The lieutenant's trying to make good on his promise. He's watching him like a brother. John. My mother said to ask you, what does your wife do for a living? I'm not married. Oh? Well, you knew that. Uh, my mother just wanted your opinion on something. She did, huh? She wants to know uh, if you think a man would have anything against marrying a cop. Well, if the guy can cook, why not? Well, we've had a delivery man in the house for at least 10 minutes. Well, don't check it out. You could scare him off. If he's our man, you'll load soon enough. We got a live one, Lieutenant. I hope he's smart enough to find the money we left. You want us to tell him when he leaves? No, he might pick it up. What I'll do now is report back to Finch. I gave orders to let him slip the tail. If he wants the rest of it, we'll have to get the Freibish. We have to get Finch and the money in one package, remember? We can't move into land. Where's Freibish? Now he stopped for lunch. I guess he feels safe with us after all. He's coming out. Our boy is on his way. OK, 
Okay, we got it. Now stand by there in case they decide to pick up five of the apartment. They found the money. There's five -ish. All right, now stay close to them. Don't lose them. Just lit out of here in somebody else's cab. Anybody with him? I didn't see anybody. Well, they got him. We better get him back. Come on. Who's got him? Hey! Take us to the money, Mr. Freibush, and no monkey business. None at all. It's at my apartment. Five hundred dollars worth. Where's the rest of it? I, I told you, at my place. My friend says you're making jokes. Now, look at it this way, Frybish. It wasn't yours to begin with. You found it easy. Let it go easy. Why, well, it hurt for something that didn't belong to you in the first place. But why don't you tell me where it is? Mobile 1 to Mobile 2, this is Hayes. This is Mobile 2. Frybish hasn't shown up here yet. All right, get two minutes from across the street to take your place. I want you in the car. I'll have you picked up. Yes, sir. Now, call me when you're on the road. Will do. Ward, where are you now? This is Ward. I just left the bus station. Richie's still there. You check your direction finder? Well, as soon as I got something to find. I hope Freibish is all right. That gizmo we planted, it better work. <laughs> Picking up that transmitter? Yeah, I got it. Where do you think? Uh, right around the bus depot. All right, both cars. Keep feeding in your positions. We'll get a fix on it. Richie, where are you? What's your location? We're behind them, heading north on 8th, but the traffic's pretty heavy. All right, Corso and Ward have their signal, but you try to stay within sight of them. Two at 40th and 10th. 
I read them at approximately 180 degrees. Car one at 8th Avenue and 30th Street, I read them at 270 degrees. Coming in stronger now. They're heading for the west side dock. Still at 270. Good. All we need is another few minutes. Oh, I just heard from Richie. He lost the tail. the signal. Car one, me too. Batteries were new. They must have found it. But you're close, no more than a few blocks. Switch to central for further instructions. Zolville headquarters is central K. Activate plan Baker for all units on assignment with this unit. From 11th Avenue to 10th Avenue. From 50th Street to 46th Street. Good news, Mr. Fivish. The DA said forget about any charges. There'll be some routine proceedings, but are well, you a hero? As long as I'm not a dead hero. How often does a man get a chance to put his hands on $150,000? Oh, what I could have done with it. Well, all is well, they say. So, uh, goodbye and thank you, uh, Lieutenant. I'll see you in court. Oh, uh, one more thing. You, you said there were no charges. Well, I forgot to tell you. The insurance people are offering a reward of $10,000. I guess it's yours. 